Pipedream has hundreds of pre-built triggers and actions you can build your workflows with. To connect these actions to the services such as Twitter, Google, GitHub, etc., you'll need to authorize Pipedream to connect to your accounts on those services. Let's get started by using a brand new workflow within Pipedream. We're going to configure the trigger with a third-party app, the app being Google Calendar. And within Google Calendar, we're just going to listen to when events are canceled. At the very top of every single pre-built trigger or action, you'll always see the connect your account option. So we'll click on this, and this opens up a window to authorize my Pipedream account to listen to my Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and click my Peerset Pipedream Google account and accept the scopes that Pipedream is allowed to view my calendar and edit the events, etc. Each app will have different scopes and different requirements to interact with your account. Now that we've selected my Google account, you can see that it's populated within the trigger. You're not limited to just using one account. You can open this dropdown and connect as many accounts as you would like. Connecting your account authorizes Pipedream to pull or push information on behalf of you. So for example, we can already see that my calendars have been populated underneath this calendar ID option needed to subscribe to. Let's head back to the dashboard by clicking the icon in the upper left. And here we can see that there's a account section, which will, you probably guessed, list all of our accounts associated with our Pipedream account. At the very top is our latest one, which is the Google Calendar we just created. And beneath it, we can see details like the exact email address associated with the account, as well as the specific API scopes that Pipedream was authorized to use, such as gathering my email, listing my events, and reading my calendar settings, for example. You can even change the nickname of the calendar if you have many Google Calendar accounts that, so I'll rename this one Pierce's Calendar so no one's confused on which calendar this is. We can save that. And now all of my workflows connected accounts will say Pierce's Calendar instead of just saying Google Calendar. Not all third-party services offer OAuth for our Pipedream to authenticate with. Instead, you'll have to input API keys. An example of that is the Shopify Partner app. So if you search for Shopify Partner under the trigger section, you can see a list of triggers that correspond with the Shopify Partner API. And this API is different in that you'll need to log into your Shopify Partner account and follow these steps to copy and paste an API key into the app. So down here, there's two, two fields, the organization ID and the API key. Both of those will be need, need to be given to Pipedream in order for this trigger to function properly. So we just learned the basics of connecting third-party accounts to your Pipedream workflows. In future videos, I'm gonna show you how you can use these same connected accounts in the same easy-to-use interface and custom Node.js steps.